Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl, Sharon, once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Monday. Today is the 14th of January, 2019. God has blessed us to make it uh, through the weekend. He's blessed us to get here to the brand new start or to the start of a brand new week. Whatever your usual occupation is, um, God has blessed us to be a part of it. And so since he has blessed us to be here, that means he is in control of the situation. We may not understand everything about the day, but what we must understand is that God is in control and nothing gets by God. Things might catch us off guard, but they do not catch God off guard. So I made the 430 bus and thank the Lord. Um, as I got out of the car and I'm walking, the bus is there. I'm like, oh, but he was early. And so um, safe passage here to work. And for that, I'm grateful. And um, so I'm here. I've kind of upset my stomach. Um, I tested before leaving home. I took my medicine. But then on the way out the door, I forgot to grab like my bread with peanut butter or my bread or my cracker, something. So where the, I guess the peel began to digest, but there was nothing on my stomach. I'm supposed to take it with food. So then on the bus, I ate, I only had like half a graham cracker. So I ate that and then I ate some sunflower kernels. And um, I'm hungry, but at the same time, I know this upset feeling on my stomach is the pills with no medicine. And so to eat now, I would be chasing the medicine. So whatever. Proverbs 14, okay? Um, many good verses in there. The verse that stuck out to me, I believe it was 14 and 26. And I jotted it down. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence and let's see children a place of refuge okay as we go through the proverbs each and every day it lets us know that we must fear the lord and remember that fearing the lord it's to respect the lord it's to honor the lord it's to know that god is more than just my homie god is more than just my uh, man upstairs. God is more than just my um, ride or die. And I know that he's all those things and God meets us where we are. <sighs> and if you're from a lifestyle where you use the term homie and you know truly what a homie is, then I can see where you say, yeah, God is my homie. If you're from a lifestyle and this is my ride or die, this is my phrase that I use and God is my ride or die. But then guess what, beloved? I understand that. What we have to know, however, is that because God is so loving, we oftentimes find ourselves placing God in the position of common. And God is nothing common. God is sovereign. God reigns supreme. God is mighty. God is just. And yes, he meets us where we are. And to many, he is the man upstairs. Beloved, God is so much more than that. Not only is he the man upstairs, but he's the man who walks with you. He's the man who gives you joy in times of sorrow. He's the man who loves on you when you are unlovable or loves on us when we are unlovable. He is our way maker. He is our provider. And again, I understand what we mean when we use different catchphrases, but we've got to know that we cannot make God common. He meets us where we are. And Jesus, he did spend time with the commoners. Uh, seems like Jesus spent more time with the common folk than he did folk who had houses and land. I get it. 
but I don't want us to sell ourselves short by selling God short by not giving God all that's due him. So you know what I'm about to say. Let me get off this phone. Oh, I think I might need to just go to the bathroom and just regurgitate because my stomach is like really jacked up. Taking that pill and not eating. So this is your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Oh, great and exciting week coming up. And for that, I'm grateful to the Lord God. He is a way maker. And I just trust God. He's brought us this far. He's going to take us all the way through. This is your girl Sharon. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.